Welcome back to another video. Today I'll be talking about Olight's 15th anniversary sale and I do have some of their new gear to show you guys. So let's check it out. But first let's talk about the sale dates here. So it starts at eight o'clock, April 21st, basically the exact time I'm releasing this video and it goes all the way to April 25th at 11.59 p.m. That's all Eastern Standard Time. They're offering up to 40% off as a prize wheel where you can win an X9R in OD Green. And just for logging in with your username, you get this brand new i15 in coral blue, this little keychain flashlight right here. This is pretty cool. And if you guys think it looks just like the i1R2 Pro right here, it does, but with some slight differences. But I'll talk about that a little bit later on in this video. But now let's get into the items that I have to show you here. Right here, I have the Olight Warrior 2 in limited edition copper. This is awesome. And their brand new folding pocket knife. It's the Rattel or Rattle. I'm guessing it's Rattel. I don't know, but I'm going with Rattel. And I haven't even opened these yet. This arrived a few days ago, the flashlight, and this knife literally arrived today. So we'll be experiencing these products for the first time ever together. So that's kind of cool so i think we'll start with let's start with the olight warrior mini 2 in copper here this is the microtech ultra tech such a good knife for unboxing just because of how slicey it is but let's take this plastic off and guys i'm not going to do a full review on this warrior mini 2 in copper obviously i've already did a review of this bad boy right here and I compared it to the original Warrior Mini. Um, if you guys wanna see my full review of this, I'll put a link down below in my description box. But it's basically the same thing, just in an awesome new exterior, pure copper body, limited to only 6,000 units. Oh boy, I knew I was gonna love this. I just love copper flashlights and check that out so of course it comes to vacuum sealed in plastic just so no air gets to that beautiful copper so this is going to be a pristine looking copper here and i actually i can just tear this open here i don't even need my knife so let's tear this bad boy open and get our first look at this copper material oh man Yes, sir. I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely love copper in flashlights. And look at this contrast between the black here around the bezel and the pocket clip, the little split ring clip here in the back. It just pops, doesn't it? So I'm guessing I have to take the little plastic piece off the battery. It's an 18650. Let's take a look at the battery. Two. It's an 18650, 3500 milliamp hour, 3.6 volt. And according to the website here, they say that this battery is compatible with the Perrin, the Baton Pro, the S30R2, the S30R3, the S2R Baton, and the Warrior Mini 2. So I don't think any of the stats have changed on this flashlight. It's still a maximum lumen output of 1750, 220 meters of throw. And it does have the tail switch here, the side switch, the typical Olight UI here, a short press on and hold it down to cycle through the modes. Very cool. And a half press for medium and then a full press for turbo. So let's see what else comes in this box here. Probably, yep, your magnetic charger here. You have a, ooh, it's a silicone uh, lanyard here. This is, this is different. So a silicone lanyard. The magnetic charger, a owner's manual, and just some information about the little plastic strip and the battery. And then, oh, here's our tactical ring. Let's, let's take this out here. So here's the tactical ring. And when I reviewed the Warrior Mini 2 here, I wasn't so sure I liked this ring, but this thing grew on me. I actually like this tactical ring more than I thought I would. So just open that up and slip it through the little key ring there and there we go so actually i'm curious to see how much this weighs versus the original version right here i'm going to pull all the hardware off the pocket clip and this tactical ring so it's fair with the weight and i want to see how much more this copper version weighs all right so you can see i pulled everything off and yes they both do have their batteries inside of it and let's start with the original version here so that is what is it 4.1 ounces 
and in grams, I have to get up to look, 116 grams. And then the copper version, oh boy, yeah, 6.6 .6 ounces, wow. And then that is 186 grams, so significantly heavier um, for the copper. I mean, that's not a big deal if you're buying this in copper, you're gonna know that it's gonna be a lot heavier. Now, I am a big fan of the Warrior Mini 2. Um, I still am a fan of the original Warrior Mini. All the problems that people were having with the light activating in your pocket and burning holes in your jeans and whatnot, I never had that issue. I tend to lock out my flashlight, so I never had that issue, but I actually have a few buddies that carried the Warrior Mini and that happened to them, burned a hole in their pocket. So I am glad that they updated the Warrior Mini 2. Let me just see the proximity sensor. Yeah, this one still has the proximity sensor. So basically exactly the same flashlight, guys, just in this limited edition copper. And like I said, this is a pure copper body according to Olight here, not a copper alloy. And I just love how pure copper patinas. Um, this might be my new favorite version of the Olight Warrior Mini 2. It was this one, I got the limited edition, I forgot what it's called, the sky pattern with the clouds, or mountain pattern, I can't remember. I'll put it on the screen. But I absolutely loved the look of this, but getting a load of this copper version, I don't know. And now let's get to their brand new folding knife here, the Rattel, and like I said, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, Rattel, and hopefully it's not rattle. I mean, I don't know. Like I said, I'm going with Rattel. So let's open this box up and let's get our first look at this bad boy here. And yes, the O-Knife's always come in this pouch here with Velcro. And there's usually always a hidden coin in here. Yep, right back here is a hidden pocket that I didn't know about with my first couple O-Knife's. There's always a coin in there. That's pretty cool. Let's take this out of the package and check out this new knife here. I'll get into the specifics of this knife in a minute, but let me just kind of glance it over real quick. Uh, deep carry pocket clip, it is reversible, so that's nice. Is a rear flipper. Oh, I'm telling you, man, these new Olight O knives, I know they're made by Kaiser, but the action and the flipping action of every single version that I have is just spot on. You see, I slipped there. That's because I have some oil on my fingers. I'm not sure where that came from. Not from the knife, I had it before, but I have no idea where that came from, but that has nothing to do with the action or the uh, the knife at all. So it looks like this is a 154cm Tonto style blade. Uh, blue G10 handles, like I said, is a deep carry pocket clip there. It goes all the way to the top and it is reversible. It is a liner lock, as you guys can see right there. We got the black liners and just like the other Olight knives, see if I can get an angle there. There are holes punched out of those liners just for weight purposes. And there are two barrel spacers there at the tail end of the knife. And let me give it a squeeze. Now this thing is solid, man. Wow, I can barely flex those handles at all. So let's check out the jimping on the spine of the blade there. So it looks like it goes a little bit over halfway up there. That jimping feels very nice. Not too sharp. And this black Tonto does have a stonewashed finish, as you guys can see. All right, so let's get into the dimensions here. So handle width is 1.04 inches. Uh, the weight is 3.96 ounces. Overall length, 7.48 inches. Blade length, 3.20 inches. The handle length is 4.28 inches. And the blade thickness is 0.1 two inches. So in my opinion, another decent knife from Olight here. Um, they're always very affordable too. Right now on sale, you can get this for $63.71. Uh, the regular MSRP is $74.95. So even at 75 bucks, it's still a pretty good deal for this just based on the action and uh, the materials. Man, I keep slipping off of that that flipper tab back there. What's going on with my fingers? And I don't know about you guys, but I love Tonto style blades. Um, I like G10 handles. I'm not the biggest fan of blue. So if I had my choice, I wouldn't have went with the blue here. Um, but it looks like that's the only color it comes in right now. And I have to put this down, otherwise I'm gonna sit here and keep flicking it like this. So I'll put that down and I didn't tell you guys the price of this Warrior Mini 
in copper. So right now on sale is $87.96 and regular price is $109.95. So if I were you guys, you wanted this, um, pick it up right now while it's on sale. And plus it's limited, $6,000. And once they're gone, they're gone. And real quick, if you guys were curious about the coin here, the old knife coin that comes with the knife. Oh, that's pretty cool. Check that out. So now let's talk about the free gift here. This free gift is the I-15. It is the 15th anniversary edition. And it's just a little keychain flashlight in coral blue. All right, so let's get in this here and check out the i15 wow that was in there all right all right so you can see the size differences here they're almost exactly the same but some aesthetic changes here so the i1r2 pro has more of a knurling right there you can but the i15 here has 15 grooves that are there on purpose to celebrate their 15th anniversary so it shows there's five grooves on top there and then 10 on the bottom there. And now this is a neutral white LED at 5,000 Kelvin. And let's see, yep, it's still the USB type C, just like the Pro here. Yep, there's the USB type C, so that's great. And it looks like they paired this with a TIR lens and it's 180 lumens now. So it's about 20% higher than the i1R2. So, wow, so they did upgrade this slightly. And let's just see. So a half twist, get this out of the way, half twist for low. You can hopefully see the color of the beam there. It's slightly different. And then let's turn it on high with a full twist. Oh, wow. Oh yeah, you can definitely see. Actually, this looks a lot warmer than the i1R2 Pro here. And in my opinion, the i1R2 Pro here is one of the best keychain flashlights that I've carried in a long time. I do like this, there's plenty of light in this little bad boy. And the new i15 here in this coral blue, first off, it's gorgeous, I think, right? And I do like the improved color temperature. I do like the warmer color temperature of that neutral white. Yeah, yes, you get this for free. Sign me up. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you think of the Warrior Mini 2 in copper, the Olight Rattel, and then the i15 keychain flashlight that I have here for Olight's 15th anniversary sale? Now, if you wanna check these out for yourself, I will have links down below in my description box, and I do have a special code so you can save 10%, but not on sale prices. So that discount code on non-sale items and the link for Olight sale will be down below in my description box. And I'll also have the dates and the sale specifics down there below as well. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe and go!